Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome to part 6 of my Malekith campaign for Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires. Yeah, Malekith, there he is. He's the, the greatest edgelord himself. Look at him. More brooding than Batman. Potentially. It's fine. Anyway, good. So, Hero Not Moved, we have Nadraxes here. We got him going last turn, didn't we? Yeah, a Dripping Blade. So, yes, we've got a hero recruited, Knight Assassin. So he's free, which is very nice. And I might... Can we... We can assault units. I think we're going to do that. We're going to assault units. We're going to get the Draxes to do that. There you go. Success. Good job. So that will uh, do a little bit of damage to them. They will, of course, replenish. But uh, that's not the point. It's about sending a message. That I will assault their units. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, we've got uh, Narin in there as well. He made a little excursion out into the middle of the sea to grab uh, a nice a nice uh, skull reef. And uh, he came back in one piece, which was very nice. Uh, but we do need to deal now with Hag Reef, I think. That's my next plan. So I want to take the Temple of Cain and Hag Reef itself and then circle back at Hag Reef Depths and Shattock Mountains. Uh, so... Malachi's force is looking a little bit beat up. Might have to do... Yeah, we, we, we definitely need some replenishment. Uh, public order up here is okay. Uh, public order here is brilliant because uh, Malachith himself now has the Sedacious or Sanguine skill, which increases public order by 10 for the local province, which I think is going to come in real useful when we're conquering. So that will help us keep public order uh, in, a, in a pretty good position. Otherwise, uh, we are currently losing money, which isn't great. Army upkeep is... Uh, turns out Dark Elves are very expensive. All those spikes uh, do not come cheap. I've noticed sometimes Dark Elves have spikes on their spikes. That seems excessive. You just need one set of spikes. You don't need additional spikes already on your spikes. But I guess that's Dark Elves for you. What do you do? So we're going to go straight into the next turn. Currently got a. Uh, are we a non-aggression? I think it's a non-aggression pack with Gr uh, Grond here. So at least that sort of secured that border. So basically, we just have to head south now. We've got the sort of this this north uh, northwestern uh, corner here is under our control. So it's all south, which is good. That's what that's, you know. I like being able to expand in one direction and not having to worry about everything else. A bit different from my Scarsnick campaign where everyone's trying to kill me. Uh, so Malekith is now a builder. Merciless. Merciless. Fine. Mercy. Alright, you go into Rakdu Gorge. That should give us some replenishment. That's good. We're also actually making money now. Uh, Nadraxes, can you just a success again on the assault units? Very nice. Let's, uh, let's make him a specialist. That's good. Uh, I don't. I can't really build anything. Yeah, it's money-wise, we're not. We're not. We're not so good. Uh, slaves. Currently, our slaves are bringing in absolutely nothing, basically. Which is a bit naff, really. does seem like Still Faith Overhaul does make money far more difficult to come by. Gonna attack the ground? Yeah, go on, please do it. Go on, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Vaporize you with fireballs. It'll be a hilarious. Okay, well, uh, they've uh, moved away from the Temple of Cain. Can we assault their units again? That would be. That would be pretty nice if we could. 
failed, but it was a good attempt. King of uh, I just need to, yeah, a few more turns of replenishment I really need. Um, what's their army like? Okay, they've got a bunch of shades. I mean, there's nothing there that's particularly threatening. A bunch of some bleak swords, dread spears, a bunch of shades. It's fine. Not concerned at all. What's our garrison like? Uh, pretty darn good. So not a problem. In fact, we could head for the Temple of Cain now. I did that. I know my path. Let's go there. Then we can take the Temple of Cain, which does have some reasonable defences, but I think we okay. I think we'll be okay. Definitely not. And if they attack Nagrom, they are dead, basically. Heading back, that's probably sensible from you. Problem is, if they're in there, I can't attack them. Because I just don't have a big enough army to. <sighs> Raid the following region, high grief. Uh, well, I mean, I could do that fairly easy just by doing this. Slaughter. Let's assault their units again. Failure, uh, Nadraxes. You can't keep failing because I don't like it. So stop it. Let's go for specialists. Let's give them additional success chance. Uh, how are we doing here? We are Pretty speed. good. But. These units are just so expensive. They're not even that expensive, really. And these guys are 415 by themselves, so... And Malekid is 840. Are you... What are you spending all that money on? Holy cr... 840 a turn? Ugh. Oh. Um. Did Hey, j j holy! I, how much is your cold one? 128. Well, you can go on foot for the moment then, because no one's protected. Well, I'll, you're coming off your mount, that's for sure, because I'm not spending 128 a turn just to feed your sodding cold one. <laughs> Raiders of the Black Ark. Stop shouting! Gee, um... I bet he's spending all that money on black t-shirts and eyeliner. Ooh, are you coming to me? Really? Interesting. Hmm, they've got a lot of ranged units. That could be problematic, but... I think we'll be okay. Plus we've got magical superiority. So if we can win this, 
problem is, depending on how many casualties I take. I think it's definitely worth the effort though. Here we go, Hag Grief. Uh, yep, that's what Malik has said, and uh, he definitely has the high ground because, you know, magma and stuff. And we're at a choke point battle, which is very interesting. We have the enemy approaching. Uh, they're going to come across this bit of causeway over here, which means I'm pulling units back from over here. Because we're no longer required. Bolt thrower is opening fire already. They have a bolt thrower. Do they have a bolt thrower? Yes, they've got a bolt thrower as well. They've also got a bunch of shades and a rather dapper indigo colour scheme going on, which I quite like. I think it's a bit, I, I don't know, I we've kind of got a sort of puce one going on, which is fine. You know, I've got no, got no complaints. I just think the indigo works a little bit better. So they're going to have to die for that reason alone. Putting our units into position. They will have crossbows at the front over here, which is going to be a bit of a pain. You can see they can uh, open up. However, they are lovely and clumped up here, which is, um, I mean, you're literally, literally asking for a burning head at that point. And that melts an awful lot of their ranged units. Be merciless. The ones that uh, manage to escape that decide to move forward out of the burning head and then come within range of our crossbows. So this is looking like a bit of a massacre already. How many, how many kills have you got? 175. On a Dark Elf Force, that is considerable. And the uh, Bolt Thrower is getting some lovely shots in on there. Really just strafing entire lines of their infantry. Comes a Fireball. That's going to be a good one as well. Yes, very nice. Sagreen is now up to 202 kills. She got a lot of people with that Fireball. a lot of fire as they approach. Now we're moving our infantry back into position. We have the uh, crossbows in the front. And now we, um, our melee units are in line to receive their charge. So that's no problem there. We're going to concentrate our fire on the rear. And we also get that another burning head going off there? Yes it is. So that's going to incinerate those shades. Straight through there. And a chill wind, fire and ice. What a combo. The Dreadlord is there and uh, their army has been pretty much annihilated. We've only lost uh, just over a hundred and uh, they've lost ha over half their army which is exactly what we needed. We needed to conserve our own strength, we needed to take theirs down, we need to take their city. I mean even defeating this force well, it'll be difficult for us to take the settlement. Uh, our chariot sort of didn't do very well, but uh, that's fine. That's you know the chariot is is let's face it a little bit. I don't know. I haven't got on with it to be honest. Looks like they're sent. I don't know what it is. I, is did they run out of ammunition or something? They still have ammo. I don't know what it is about the the artillery crews at the moment. They seem to sometimes the AI abandons their artillery and charges you for some unbeknownst reason. Not not very successfully, obviously. Uh, looks like Malekith is taking out their Dreadlord. She's uh, she's not had a good day. Here you go, Malekith. Finish her off. I fear no one! And uh, if only we had some cavalry to chase down these units, but unfortunately that is not the case. 
So we're just going to finish off their Dread Lady. Eventually, sure. Malekith gets round to it. Coming back in. You're going to get her this time. A little nudge. Boop. There she goes. Dread Lady is dead. Her army is fleeing. There we go. Close victory, but in actual fact, I mean, we lost 75 compared to their entire army, so I think that was pretty good. We've got a potion of toughness as well. That's pretty nice. That'll come in useful. Oh, man, like it's constantly getting beaten up. Okay, so let's go for... Yeah, the unit replenishment will be very, very nice. And, of course, the extra slaves is always good, so definitely do that. So uh, that army's going to have to retreat. Is it going to head back to... Uh... Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you... <gasps> oh, that's okay. You just you just caused replenishment reduction. Uh, you want a peace treaty and you want to give me money. Uh, sure. What choice did you have, weak as you are? Uh, I mean, listen, listen here, Shakira. Right? I don't care if your breasts are small and humble, so I don't confuse them with mountains. If you declare war on me again, you're dead. In fact, you're dead anyway, but... I'm just, I, I've got things to do before I kill you, so... Enjoy what time you have left. Okay, mission successful. Well, good, yeah, because we're raiding. We've got a potion of toughness as well. Very nice. Hinder replenishment success. That's annoying. But we have completed the next part of the spell shield. So Malakith sets about raising a force to accompany this Captain Kingslayer to Lustria. He keeps Sternuous close, even shares the odd jest. Maybe the Witch King is impressed by the Dreadlord's goal. It makes a refreshing change to, his, to all the usual schemes and plots. So is the talk of Nagarond. So we need to maintain 23 units total. We currently have 20. But we currently have no money. Okay, so I reckon we can finish this force off, but do we want to try? Could us, can we assassinate? 38% chance, which is pretty good. 56% chance of assault. Let's just assault the unit. Success! Good job, the Draxes. Uh, let's give you additional assault unit chance or effect. So uh, that army's looking pretty beat up. And Hagreen has managed to get another skill point, which is well deserved because she did brilliantly that last battle. Really murdered a whole bunch of uh, enemy high, uh, Dark Elves. So, I mean, I do like Burning Head. Flaming Sword of Ruin would be quite good, though. Uh, or we could get. I just quite like Burning Head, you know? Uh, let's upgrade that. So, less miscast chance, less cooldown, and less winds of magic. The enemy Which is always good. Right, let's kill this army. Oh, you're retreating. Uh, and you're within range of your defences, you annoying little tit. Uh, can we take on... Short I mean, that army is pretty beat up. For that army, it, Black Heart Corsairs, Dread Spears, Bleak Swords, we've got Shades with great weapons, and Dark Shards, Cold One Knights, and a Reaper Bolt Thrower. Hmm. I mean, if I can kill them, that'd be brilliant. But it won't be easy. Lord of the Black Corn. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to try it, but that it could, I could end, it could end up exploding in my stupid face. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the game just to be on the safe side. And uh, I'm going to go for it. Uh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. They do have Black Guard. 
but so do we. Uh, we can shoot those to pieces. Those Cold One Knights will be a little bit of a pain. But I'm sure we can deal with that. Okay. This is not going to be an easy battle. There are large numbers of enemies. They've got a lot of missile units. See, their, the last remnants of their army are over here. If only we'd have some cavalry, we could potentially just, you know, even weaken them even further. But they've still got quite a few shades left. And they've also got some dark shards. They've also got this Reaper Bolt Throw, which is a pain. I'm going to try and send my Cold Bond Chariot in to deal with the Bolt Thrower, maybe. And we've got uh, as Hagreen and the Black Guard and the Witch Elves in the forest over there. We've got a strong line of spearmen and bleak swords, and then we've got our unit, uh, our units of crossbows, and of course our even bolt thrower. Unfortunately, my chariot gets uh, targeted by a unit of shades. It goes immediately out of control and ends up charging the shades, or a tree at this point, actually. Um, I mean, that does sort of damage the unit of shades, but uh, the chariot doesn't have an awful lot of health left. And that it gets focus fired by this other unit of shades. So that's, we're going to lose the chariots. And there it goes. The chariot's gone. And many units are incoming and they're being cut down. To be honest, I really should be conserving my crossbows. Malak is going to charge into this unit of Black Art Corsairs with handbows. My... Quest to uh, wipe him out every single battle, but uh, he he manages to beat. He manages, well, I say almost said beat off the crossbows, but that's not true. He obviously killed quite a few of them, and I've forced them to flee the battle. The reinforcements are incoming. So they've got a unit of Negro, uh, Black Guard over there. They've got some bleak swords, Black Art Corsairs, units of shades. Uh, none of that particularly good for us. also got a unit of Cold One Knights, which is especially not good. The enemy is exposed. They've spotted our Black Guard, however they probably won't want to engage those guys, especially in the forest indeed. They don't, they go straight into our unit of uh, uh, Bleak Swords over here, get stuck, also stuck into a unit of Dread Spears. We're going to uh, hit them in the rear with our Black Guard. The Black Guard are going to be able to deal with these guys fairly well. There they go, they've gone out of control and they are dying quite quickly, being surrounded. The Witch Elves are getting in there as well. That's good. We've got a Death Hag coming in. They've also got their Dreadlord with Sword and Crossbow. Um, completely misclick this uh, Burning Head and it goes completely out of... Uh, that, that was silly. That's uh, a huge waste of magic. That was... Uh, that's going to be painful. So they've got this big block. I mean, just think about burning head went through this. That would have been that would have been delightful. Never mind. So they're approaching our main line now. They've got unit of dread spears over there. Their death hags coming in. Uh, we've managed to finish off their cold one knights. They're gone. Malak is getting in on the death hag. Going to put her out of our misery. However, there are some dread spears incoming. We've also got uh, more, more dread spears, more bleak swords, and the black guard. Malachis is not in a good place, and I'm not paying attention. The Gold One Knights are coming back, but uh, the Black Guard should be able to deal with them. The Witch Elves are getting picked off at long range. They're being focus fired. I'm trying to stay in some sort of a good position so to protect my archers, but poor Malachis here is now completely surrounded, and I really should be getting in there to assist. And in come some units finally to back up their, their Lord. Oh, those Black Guard are going to be a nightmare. We're getting focus fired here. Luckily, Hagreen's ready to drop another Burning Head, which is going to do horrendous damage to these Shades. It does manage to miss most of this unit of Shades, but then manages to go straight into this unit of Dark Shards. So uh, that's pretty good. So the Witch, uh, the Witch Elves are going to hunt down this unit of Shades. I think we're going to get Hagreen in there as well. Malekith not looking at it. He's, he's lost a lot of health. And uh, these Black Guard are really doing a number on our infantry. We're going to... We, our missile units are starting to run out of ammunition. We've got to push the enemy line away. We are slowly turning the tide. 
but we're taking a lot of damage doing it. Our black guard are getting picked off by missile units being surrounding them, and there's no way we can really catch them. We've just got to try and wipe them out. At the same time, Malekith is in a lot of trouble at the moment. He sounds 857 health. We're going to move some Dread Spears in to surround the, uh, the enemy Dread Spears and the uh, Black Guard. Malekith has broken. Incoming infantry unit to support. Going to uh, try and take out this Dreadlord. The Witch Elves are, again, not, not, not doing well. Uh, but we do have Hagreen in there to assist. They should be able to deal with these Black Art Corsairs. We're going to get the Witch Elves out of there, try and conserve the unit. The Black Guard are coming in to try and help this unit over here because uh, they're taking a lot of damage. There's a big sort of bloody melee here and it's not it's not turning in our favour by the looks of it. That Death Witch is still a pain. Malekith has returned but I'm not going to throw him back into that fight because it would just be too risky. And a lot of our missile units are now completely out of ammo. That's less than ideal. Another flaming head there is going to go straight over those Dark Shards and burn a nice big hole in the middle of them. And then over this unit of Dark Shards, again doing a lot of damage. But there's some more Shades over here. Malik is going to chase down this Death Hag, try and kill her. At the same time, the Witch Elves, who have only got two two units left. And uh, Hag Green are going to chase down this unit of Dread Spears. Uh, oh no, they're going to break off, mostly because I think you know there's, there's only two Witch Elves left. So I might have to try and conserve them a little bit. Uh, we've got uh, no, we've got no ammunition left. No, the, the one, okay, one unit has. Okay, now they've got no ammunition left, and uh, the enemy do have ammunition left. Some rallying units are returning. We're going to throw our infantry at them. Uh, they've only got 364 left. Uh, we've got slightly over double that, but we have taken a lot of damage. Some, several of our units, like the Black Guard are considerably weakened. The Witch Elves are pretty much wiped out. In fact, I think they might have been wiped out just now. I think it's going to finish off that. Another Burning Head there to try and catch these Shades, which does work. It does do a lot of damage. I'm just trying to break them through army losses at the moment because uh, chasing down the last few units might be difficult. Oh, the Witch Elf is still alive. There she is. There's two of them still alive. 38 health left. Going to throw themselves at the Dread Spears. In comes Hagreen into the rear of this Dread Spear unit, and that is going to break them. Which is good. And uh, the Witch Elves finally do break. You can't really you can't really blame them. They've seen a lot of their, their little sisters die there, so uh, the last few units breaking. The only thing left over is they do have a uh, a Re Reaper Bolt Thrower over here? Yes. So they've got a Reaper Bolt Thrower left, still left over here. So we just need to go and chase it down. Um, but the rest of the army is broken and running. So we've won. But it was incredibly costly. Well, that was a tad close, wasn't it? Uh, so we have managed to destroy most of the enemy uh, so let's yeah I'll take the replenishment that army's defeated and we've got an earthing rod when planted in the ground this obsidian rod becalms the arcane winds for the briefest moment allowing the wizard to cast one of his powerful enchantments unopposed 100% uh, miscast chance reduction so there's that and uh, we've killed more in battle and our army is looking a little bit on the light side. So, okay, where is our territory? There. Oh, we're in the range of... I could auto-resolve this. It's just a quick save. Fight for me or die. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, we get a banner as well. What do we get? What do we get? Banner of Rage. Nice. That's good. Uh, really give it to our. Let's give it to our Black Guard, I guess. That'd be fine. Uh, okay, so we've taken the Temple of Cain. Let's occupy it. Banner of Rage. There. Good. Um, 
Why aren't we getting replenishment? And local effects. What local effects? I am the Witch King. I'm not sure what the local effect is that's stopping me from replenishing. Is it just because I've just taken the city? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, okay, so we could only get missile units, which we don't really want at the moment. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll leave it at that. And we did actually get quite a lot of money. And actually, the death of our chariot has freed up some income, which is nice. Uh, so, public order here is actually stable for the moment. People grow restless. Yeah, well, that's, that's what people do, isn't it? Let's upgrade that. And I am going so to... Many lives to take. In, well, in quite. I would like another bolt thrower. So let's go for that. And do I, I don't really need walls there anymore, do I? So let's get rid of the walls. And I'm going to get a guild hall because more money is good. And I can get the altar of ultimate darkness for extra uh, tax... Tax rate, winds of magic, and all that kind of good stuff. That seems very much like it's worth it, so we'll grab that. And Malekith has another skill point. Uh, I could give him a chariot. Don't really like. Well, I mean. Uh, I mean, it, I can always, I can always take him off it, can't I? I can give him the chariot, the Cold One chariot. We'll give him that. And I would quite like. What I would like is Soul Stealer, because the number of times I almost get Malekith killed, it'll probably be well worth it. But I could get efforts redoubled, so that would increase tax rate, constru uh, redu reduce construction time and cost, and increase growth. By carrot or stick, those who whose lot it is to serve can always be made to work harder, usually by stick. That's fair. Uh, e mm, yeah, okay, let's go for, let's go for efforts redoubled. And, uh, okay, so he's in his cold one chariot. That's okay. Okay, happy with that. Still not entirely sure why we're not replenishing, though. Ah, hinder replenishment. Three turns? Holy crap. Okay, well... I didn't realise that was quite that effective. Of Never mind. Uh, so okay. carry on raiding there. That's all good. Malachith, we're taking the Temple of Cain. Can we build anything special here? No? I thought there might be like a Temple of Cain we could... Well, I suppose that... This is an altar of Cain. There's a Temple of Cain, so I guess... Yes, it wouldn't. I'm sure there's a special building you, you can build in Hagrief. Okay. Good. So that was... That was close, but I think well worth it. So uh, I think we've just about run out of time now, but next time we're going to move on Hagrief at least once that bloody uh, replenishment thing's worn off and I can actually get a full army because my army's looking a little bit beaten up at the moment. And then we're going to push on to Hagrief, take that, and then recolonize this province and then we'll have uh, three provinces so under our control, which I think is, a, is in a pretty, pretty good place. And we can push on further maybe take out, uh, is this Clark Carond? Carond Car? And uh, Clark Carond. We'll take out those next. So there we go. That's what, that's what we're going to leave it. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.